Stuart Agnew, what do you make of the result here when it comes to e-cigarettes, this vote that we've had in, in Strasbourg today? Well, as far as I can see uh, from my voting list, it's a bit better than we thought it was going to be. Uh, but I haven't actually seen the complete text, so I'm not certain. But at least that's encouraging. The really encouraging thing is that this isn't legislation yet that they've decided to postpone quite rightly because what happens when we have a really big vote like this with all the amendment, all the amendments, it's so difficult to know what you've actually ended up with. And we're then asked to vote within a few seconds on the amended legislation, which is impossible really, and that's how you get very, very bad legislation. So at least we voted to postpone this legislative vote. It's now going to go back to committee. We're pleased with that. At least it pushes the thing back for some more discussion. Um, obviously, we don't like any of this. I've had over a thousand emails asking me to oppose the whole thing. And so then if I can pick you up just on a couple of points very briefly, apparently as we understand it from the vote on e-cigarettes, um, the, the vote of, of the Parliament was uh, they shouldn't be classed as medical products. Is that a, a victory do you feel for e-cigarette users and e-cigarette companies in your constituency? Well I'm glad you've confirmed that because I was, un I was unwilling to actually say that. Uh, yes, it is a victory. Um, to class these things as medicinal products is quite ludicrous. Uh, why should they be a medicinal product? They're a very useful thing for somebody who's trying to give up cigarette smoking. A great friend of mine has done it. His wife is asthmatic. She had a serious asthmatic attack in his presence. He had to get off cigarettes and he has used e-cigarettes to do it and they are working. He's been off tobacco now for about six months. It's worked for him. It should be easily accessible and not more difficult to get to these things. Just briefly, finally, what uh, you mentioned there, the, the, the help that it's, it's had for, for people trying to get off tobacco. What about for industry in, in your region? I understand there's a company in, in Cambridgeshire that makes e-cigarettes. Not having extra legislation here, does that make a difference to them? It must do. Anything that makes it easier to access e-cigarettes must help the people who manufacture them.